Hey everybody, it's Chris Loud. Um, today I'm going to be doing an abstract painting on sketchbook paper. Um, as you can see, I'm doing an 8x8 square. Uh, this is uh, something I've had in my mind of uh, a painting I've been toying with. And I thought I would just go ahead and do that uh, today as my warm-up. I'm going to use a limited palette of Alizarin Crimson, Yellow Ochre, Burnt Sienna, Mars Black, and Titanium White. Uh, I'm going to leave it open that I can add other colors if I want to, but at this point I'm going to just start with those. Uh, I already toned my uh, paper with Yellow Ochre just to get something down, and I'm going to start with a palette knife, and I'm going to start with just some, some uh, straight colors from the palette and I'm just really trying to get some uh, some some colors down um, I don't want to start mixing quite yet um, but I will do that and I'm just going to use this palette knife to start with and then uh, I will mix a little bit and use a brush and probably a catalyst wedge a little bit uh, in here as well so Right now, I'm just getting some, some colors down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start mixing some of this yellow ochre and titanium white. Get a little bit lighter yellow color on here. And you can see the texture uh, of the watercolor paper already coming through a little bit here. And I don't know if you can hear the cat out there, but uh, I've got a cat that is eager to come in and watch me paint, but she's just going to have to wait a little bit, or she will hop up on here uh, onto the table, and that won't be good for any of us. So, and I'm not too concerned about um, these colors mixing while they're, while they're on here. Um, my whole goal here is just to get some colors uh, down in different areas. I will be covering a lot of this up uh, later, but I, I'm trying to think of something really simple um, that I wanted to work on. And, and this was really kind of the idea, uh, was to get some very simple shapes down as as an initial background and then kind of work from there so you can see I've got several of the colors already mixing together here um, and that's okay I am totally fine with that I was thinking of doing this as initially I was thinking of an 8 by 8 um, painting square painting um, but I'm not sure. I'm going to see how this turns out, and I might go something a lot, uh, a much larger canvas uh, with this. But uh, as many paintings go, when you first start off, this is not, you know, the prettiest thing that you've ever seen. I'm sure, as uh, <laughs> at least that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, but that's fine. That's. Uh, not my goal with this at the moment. My goal is just to get several colors down and start playing with that. It's kind of the fun with abstract paintings is sometimes you're just making a little bit of a mess first. Sometimes you make a, a bit of a mess at the end too. I wasn't intentionally aiming for kind of squares and rectangles, and I've got quite a bit of glare going on there, so I apologize for that. But this is kind of what we're looking at right now. Almost has kind of a quilt look to it. Wipe my brush off here a little bit. And I think I will go ahead and scratch some lines in here too just in random places. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. And I've got fairly thick paint down right now. Let's 
So I'm going to dry this. I'm going to scrape a little bit of this away and some parts. Not enough to probably even really tell, but just to uh, get a little of that off. I'm going to go ahead and dry this. I'm going to actually uh, take this out so you don't have to watch this. So I spent about two to three minutes drying that with a hair dryer. You can probably tell over here that I've replenished some of the, the paint. I've got uh, the Lizarin Crimson Yellow Ochre uh, Burnt Sienna back and I've also added Vermilion and Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue. Um, I thought I would work with these a little bit uh, for my focal point. So for my focal point I'm going to uh, what I think I'm going to do is add a little bit of newspaper uh, around the areas for my focal point. So I'm going to go ahead and grab just some little pieces of newspaper. Um, I'm just going to kind of rip them in little shapes. Um, nothing too fancy here. But uh, I'm thinking the upper uh, left third is where I'm going to focus on that, uh, that focal point. So let me uh, get these down real quick. Get a little gel medium, and I'm just gonna actually put that in that area and just kind of randomly put these pieces of paper down. Actually, I might go with that and overlap a couple here, and then just cover those up. Um, yeah, I like that. Actually, I might add a little bit more newspaper. And it looks like I am adding some uh, horoscope. It's a horoscope here, so if anyone is a Scorpio out there, this, this piece is for you. silence this for you. So I ended up turning the uh, camera off so I could dry this and not annoy you with that dryer sound or watching me dry and ended up adding another piece of newspaper. Um, there is one uh, interesting uh, line in here. It says crunchy jacket. No idea what that is. I don't have the rest of the article. I can't read it but uh, sounds like potentially a good name for this piece. Anyway I'm going to go ahead and, and start um, doing a little bit of mixing of the vermilion and cadmium yellow deep hue and I'm going to start getting some of that in <clears throat> excuse me uh, in here uh, add a little bit of white to that as well and uh, a little bit more yellow and a touch of this yellow ochre and I'm just really going to kind of start getting some of this color in. And I'm going to start putting it around as well. Even though I know a lot of this will probably get covered up, I want to make sure that I have a little bit of the balance around the piece. So um, I'm going to add some of the straight vermilion. And... Some of the uh, cadmium yellow deep hue, which it looks like I'm going to probably need to add a little bit more of. Um, and then I'm going to take a little bit of that yellow ochre and cadmium, excuse me, yellow ochre and titanium white and alizarin crimson. 
and get some of that in there as well. So I'm just trying to get some variety of, of these colors together. And probably get just some straight alizarin crimson in there. Straight yellow ochre on this newspaper. And at this point I've got the newspaper is pretty much covered up. Um, not necessarily my goal, but um, that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and, as soon as I get some of this white down and some spots, I'm going to go ahead and wipe away some of the paint. I'm going to just dip my paper towel in some water and wipe away a little of the paint where that newspaper is. So you can still see a little bit of that showing through. And then I'll take some of the dry paper towel as well and kind of get that. Um, I'm not really looking to have all of the newspaper showing through necessarily, but I want a little of it. So I'm gonna take my finger and just do a little of that and get a little bit of white in some areas and those of you that have watched my videos before know I love to uh, paint with my fingers I mean we did it as kids why not do it as adults I mean it's it's fun so why not okay so I'm gonna take my palette knife do a little bit of scraping like this. I mean, right now we're just looking at a mess, um, and that's that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Marks with some water soluble wax pastels, and now I'm going to. Take my palette knife, I'm gonna mix uh, white, just a tiny bit of this yellow ochre. Um, and I'm gonna start getting some of this on and covering some of this up. And real quick, before I do that, I'm going to just take a little of this deep hue, our cadmium yellow deep hue, and add that and a tiny bit of white. Just to get some more interest in this this focal point section here. And we'll see how that turns out uh, like this. I'm going to need to mix quite a bit more of this white. I'm just going to get more of it on there. And really just looking to cover up some of this. Again, leaving some of that focal point showing through. And I think I will grab a roller or a brayer and start you know, working this paint a little bit. Take a little bit of water in my hand and just lightly kind of blend out some of those lines that the brayer made. And get a little bit more of that in, in the focal point here. All right. 
So, let's take a look at this. I don't have a square mat. I am going to take this that I use for my template I use for my thumbnails and just kind of look at the different areas and see how things are looking. I actually really like this upper corner, especially with that, that black showing through. Um, this looks like it could use a little bit of work. Very plain. Um, might scrape a little bit away there. And same with this. Might scrape a little bit away there just to show a little bit more of that color. So, just lightly touching this palette knife, and then I'm going to kind of go back over it with my finger a little bit, just to get some kind of interest there. And I might take a little at the bottom, let that show through. And then as far as this top portion, I'm going to cover a little more of that up, I think. And then take a palette knife. And I like that already. Just getting some of those darks to show through a little bit, uh, I think, adds to this. Um, and I wish I had a square mat that I could do. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and add a little bit of um, titanium white. I'm gonna do this in this cup. I'm gonna actually make a little mixture that I can uh, pour and make some drips. I can get some of that. Just a little bit of yellow ochre in there. Tiny bit of this cadmium yellow. And I'll show this once I get the paints in there. Alright, and just maybe a tiny bit. Actually, not the vermilion, but the um, blizzard crimson. And I'm just mixing this up in here. I'm going to take my squirt bottle and add some water. Kind of fun with painting. I have no idea where this is going at this point, but uh, I'm, I'm starting to feel like it's getting kind of near the end. So I'm excited to see what how this ends up. But uh, I'll show you at the end. I'll put a picture of the... Uh, painting and you you will be able to see that newspaper kind of showing through the kind of fun part was I really had no intention of adding any paper or mixed media to this but that is kind of where this is going and a little bit more of this cadmium yellow deep hue which I'm starting to run out of it looks like <clears throat> excuse me all right, so I've got kind of a pinkish color going here, and I'm just throwing everything into this mix. Let's see where I'm at here. I'm gonna add a little bit more water, and I think we are ready to go. So, this is another way to get some drips going. Um, I'm going to just Add it kind of more at the base to start with. And really kind of have those drips center around that focal point. I'm going to spray some water. I think I want to dab a little of that off. Or maybe a lot of that off. Okay. And I'm going to take a, another paper towel and just try and get a little more of that up. I'll put it down. Wipe a little bit away so you can see the newspaper in there. And that, like. 
weaken this too much on that side. Uh, yeah. I've got a look at that. So let me, uh, I'm going to have this dry and then I will show you what that looks like. Uh, but uh, right now I'm actually kind of liking where that is sitting. Might add a little bit of dark close to this just to have a little bit of contrast in that middle area there. And I might need to smudge it up a little. But um, yeah, right now I think that's gonna that's gonna work. A little of that red. off mix a little of the white back into that one thing I think I will add real quick is just some little spots of white in here just helps with the uh, contrast to some of the darker areas that are showing through and just a little bit of a variation in the color here of the um, yellow ochre and white okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there I'm gonna let that dry and I'll come back and show you what this looks like okay so the painting is dry now and uh, this is what it looks like um, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it uh, it turned out pretty well um, for I don't know how many minutes I just spent uh, 15 20 minutes on this. Um, it gives me a good idea of what I am maybe going to go for on a larger painting. Um, at this point my thought is I might just go ahead and do another 8x8 on canvas. Um, spend a little bit more time on the background and some layers and textures but overall, I, I like the way this turned out. So uh, if you have any comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section and uh, feel free to give this a thumbs up if you like it. Otherwise, thanks for watching and keep on painting.